Hi, my name is Roland Seikau. I got the idea to create ChronoZoom when I was a student in Walter Alvarez's big history class. For many students, and for myself actually, history wasn't my favorite subject. And I think partly that's because we don't have a really clear way of seeing when those events and stories took place. So ChronoZoom is a, is a way that you can visualize and put everything down in front of you. It's kind of like a map of time. You can browse through all of time just by zooming in and out, looking at pictures, videos, and other resources. I could never imagine at that point how it would become this international project. We have Moscow State University in Russia and Microsoft Research in Redmond working on this project. Right now we're looking at all of time. We're looking at from the Big Bang on the left to the present on the right. If we zoom into an exhibit and we can see this is an exhibit about the Big Bang. We have a video here. We also have different diagrams in here. So we can have all sorts of media inside of any one of these exhibits. This is the Phanerozoic, a time of abundant life. And if we look down here in the Cenozoic, 65 million years ago, this is when the dinosaurs went extinct. And we can play this video here. The, the Berkeley theory was published in 1980. And, for and we can also do a full screen if we wish, but we can also take a look at any of the other content items on the screen. So here's an artist rendition, for example. And so if we zoom out here to all of life, we can see the context of the dinosaur extinction. So there you can see it. It's right here in the context of all of life. So that's a very recent event. Let's say we want to look at the history of UC Berkeley. So I'm going to click up here on humanity and we can see Earth and the solar system passing away and prehistory zooming past us. And finally, here we are in the last 5,000 years. So here is the United States and we're going to click on that. And inside the United States we'll see a few U.S. universities and we'll see here's the University of California Berkeley founded in 1868. We're going to take a look at Sather Gate here in 1909. And this is a really high resolution image. This is about 5,000 megapixels. So if I click here to full screen, having this infinite zoom, we can actually zoom almost anywhere um, that you like. So in any part of the image, you can look um, at Sather Gate in this level of detail. So we can just zoom out here, for example. Right now, we're inside of the United States in the Industrial Revolution. So let's take a look at this Declaration of Independence exhibit and we've actually have the entire PDF embedded right here. So if you zoom here in a few moments it's going to load that entire document. The next phase of this project is to invite everyone to start putting their own content inside and filling this up, filling this map of time. At the same time we'll be making a version of ChronoZoom where experts will guide us in make, getting the best content. So kind of like a museum experience where we have experts that come in and they take care of certain exhibits. I really hope this can revolutionize the teaching of history by making it such a visual experience. Uh, so rather than just a, a list of dates that you have to memorize and, and stories that you read about in a book, but you can actually see them in time and see what happened when Newton was making his discovery in other parts of the world. What made it possible for Newton to even uh, come up with those theories, the people that came before him, and how the world changed after Newton, as, as an example. So we really hope it can revolutionize the, the teaching of history, make it a much more exciting uh, subject.